Hey guys, today we'll be making an adorable curly fall deco mesh wreath. What you will need, I have an 18 inch wreath ring, an adorable sign for the center, 6 inch deco mesh in various colors, Chanel stems, scissors and a rotary cutter, and a hot glue gun. Alright, let's get started. Okay, so first thing I do is cut all of my mesh into 8 inch long pieces. I have 5 different colors. And I've cut my stems into thirds. Sometimes I cut them into fourths, but thirds it gives you a little more stem to work with. But go with whatever you prefer. So now I'm going to take my mesh and roll it into a cute little curl, just like that. And I'm going to have four pieces of mesh in each bundle. So since I have five different colors, the colors are going to alternate depending on the, the bundle. But I usually like to do that anyways. I mix up the color order so that you can see every color equally. Scrunch it in the center. Take my stem and twist it around my bundle a couple of times. Then I just kind of flare it out a little bit. So cute and precious. If you want to keep the same order for each bundle, you can do that as well. I'm going to kind of mix up the colors. I'm going to mix up the order. Like I said, I think I think it just makes for an even cuter wreath. You can also roll them at diagonals. I go with both ways. just depends on how I'm feeling and the look I want my wreath to have. So I just decided to go with the, the curls this time. Then I just scrunch it in the center twist flare it out and it looks so cute so I prefer to make all of my bundles prior to placing it on my wreath I feel like it just makes the process a lot faster but if you want to make a bundle place it make a bundle place it and go that route you can definitely do so Crunch it in the center and place my stem. So as you can see, each bundle looks different and I think it's going to come together very well and mesh together and make a beautiful wreath because all of the colors coincide with my sign. All right, I'm going to get my bundles made and then we will start placing it on our wreath. All right, so I have all of my bundles made. Like I said, I just alternated the colors, no specific order. I went with four pieces of mesh in each bundle. You can go with more if you choose to do so. All right, so I'm going to take my bundle and I'm going to place it on the outermost ring and twist it a couple of times and then tuck it away. Now, if you want, you can leave your stems in half. That way you can place it around two rings if you prefer. The next bundle is going to go on the center ring. And then the last bundle is, is going to go on the innermost ring. Again, the way you place your bundles is completely up to you. Sometimes I just work with the outer two rings. Sometimes I stick with the center ring, whatever you prefer. And sometimes I kind of stagger it like this. And I have three bundles in this section. I like to do it this way, that way I can get all of my bundles placed and then if I decide that I want to add more bundles, I can easily just push this aside and add one more bundle right there. If you want a thicker, fluffier, poofier wreath, then go ahead and add another bundle or even two bundles. But don't feel like you have to decide right now. Again, you can get all of your bundles placed and then if you say, hey, I want it thicker, fuller, curlier, you can go back and add it in then. But for now, I'm going to go ahead and get all of my bundles placed and show you what it's looking like. Okay, this is what it's looking like so far. So cute and curly. All right, let's keep going.
right so I have four pieces of mesh in each bundle and three bundles in each of my eight sections all right so I'm just kind of flaring and fluffing out my mesh making sure I don't have any gaps or spaces and you can kind of twist and maneuver if you have something kind of hanging down you can kind of adjust it like that all right and you can leave the wreath just like this if you choose to do so honestly i do that all of the time it's so cute simple and it looks adorable or you can add in any additional embellishments you prefer some you can add in anything throughout the wreath any flowers or any pumpkins or an adorable sign to the center again it's so cute and precious just like this so it's whatever you prefer but this time I'm going to add this adorable sign to the center. Alright, I'm just going to cut the top hanger off of my sign. Flip it over. Take two stems, twist them together to form one long stem for the top and one for the bottom. Then I'm just going to hot glue them in place. And just make sure you have enough of the stem hanging off the side of your sign so that you can easily attach it to your wreath ring. just going to kind of push out our mesh slightly just because we don't want to cover too much of it snugly place our sign here in the center and then push the mesh aside and twist the stem around the actual wreath ring a couple of times just to make sure it's nice and secure and you're going to repeat this step for all four stems Once you get all of your stems attached, just kind of do any last minute final adjustments and maneuvering just to make sure you don't have any gaps or spaces. So cute, simple, and easy to make. Modify the color, the style, add in any additional embellishments you prefer. Mm -hmm. 